dear friends how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine i am fine too i thank god welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning back here if you are a returning subscriber thank you for your love thank you for your support but if it is your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and to subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video and i promise you you always enjoy every content that i upload on this channel so guys i've been wanting to do this video like do an update <laughs> about this video like the second part i'm talking about the video i did three years ago which was about how is it like to date an italian man how is it like to be married to an italian man but i was like if i come back here and do like the second part <laughs> still it is me it is you know my own experience so i was like no i think someone else should also talk about this maybe it will make more sense <laughs> because it's not coming from bella because i've been getting messages like bella how is it like to date an italian man how are italian men because people are scaring me <laughs> telling me Italians are very cruel telling me Italians are bad people so I really don't know what to do what do you have to say <laughs> so that's why I was thinking of doing a part two and surprisingly around April I got a message from this good friend of mine actually she's my baby she found love online with an Italian guy so that April this year she came to me and I was like Bella I was on social media I came across something that I would like to share with you maybe you can have something to advise your subscribers yeah so told me that came across a video that I was going through you know around social media of an african lady who got married to an italian guy and they met on online dating sites so this lady was complaining a lot about italian men saying that the man she married is treating her very very bad reaching an extent of making her starve it's not giving her the food and saying italian people when it comes to food they are so mean <laughs> So when I was listening to this lady, I was like, really? <laughs> Which Italy is this lady talking about? But in the end, I was like, maybe it's me. So I need to contact someone, an African lady too, that is in Italy, at least to give her own experience because she found love on online dating apps. They got married. So she should tell us, you know, her own experience. It shouldn't still come from Bella. And you know this lady already. <laughs> My beautiful baby sister from Nigeria checks, but we all know her by check slayer because that's the name of her youtube channel so i am going to be welcoming our beautiful checks to give us her experience how is it like you know to date an italian guy being married to an italian guy what is her experience for the two years of her marriage because recently it was their two years of their wedding anniversary yes and not only that you're going to be getting an update of their happily ever after so welcome dear checks i'm happy to talk to you all again first of all i want to say thank you bella for having me to talk to your beautiful beautiful girls i appreciate this your platform and i don't take that for granted Okay, in case you don't know my name or in case you have not seen my face, which I know a lot of you recognize me from the past stories Bella shared and also a lot of you are on my channel following me. I just want to tell you all, I see you all loves and I love you all so much. But for the new ones who don't know me, my name is Chex. 
I am Nigerian who found love on a dating site and married with handsome Italian man. And I am here after two years to share an update. How has marriage been? And actually, tomorrow will make us two years in marriage. Yeah. So tomorrow is our anniversary. Here I am two years later giving an update of how life has been, what is like being married to an Italian. I am supposed to be doing this video with my husband, but I already explained to Bella. I wish he was here, but he is busy at the moment because he's working. For the past two years, two years has been, in two words, it has been a roller coaster and has been amazing and wonderful. The best year of my life as well marriage is not like how people say it people cannot really explain to you what marriage is really all about till you're into it i see marriage like a school year where you learn but you don't graduate from it because in marriage you keep learning every day each day is new experience we got married in nigeria my country and then three months later we closed the distance and we moved to i moved to italy to live with my husband i would say that the first five months was the hardest of us <laughs> listen i'm not the type of person that will come and say those of you watching me from the channel you guys know this i don't come to say something and another thing and is another thing the first year, I have said it with Leandro, first five months was a roller coaster for us. We were trying to know each other. Balancing life in that sense was kind of difficult. We do argue, which is normal, okay? This is normal in even relationship and marriage. We argue based on different belief, based on different tradition as well but most of the misunderstanding we do have is not even something meaningful it's always i'm not gonna forget it always at the kitchen food you know if you're if you know italians you know with food so it's based off of nonsense let me just say that at the end of the day you see that whatever you have a misunderstanding is really nothing and something that could be avoided but as time goes on we started learning we talk we talk the secret of a successful marriage is always talking communication is the key it got to a point that we had to call each other and we sat down to think and we talk things out and we talk on how we can handle things in as much as we are angry at each other we never leave the house or we never stay the next day without talking to the other person and there's something we always do which is no matter how angry we are at each other we will never sleep apart never we will never sleep apart so we started talking and this is the first like five months into marriage and we kind of figure it out that talking is a base of everything and since then let me say that a year and seven months or a year and six months has been best for us we hardly argue since we notice how we you know deal with each other we hardly argue but that is also because of the type of husband i marry he doesn't take things to heart sometimes you know we ladies we can be mm -hmm. We can be a little extra, we can be a little annoying, but just thank God for the type of husband I'm married because he's, he jokes a lot. So most of the time when I'm serious, he don't take things serious. So I thank God for that type of person also. We balance life and it has been amazing. Being married to Italian is one of the dream come true for me because before I met my husband, I had prayed for this life. I prayed for God to give me an Italian and that's not because of what I heard is what I've seen and is what I've experienced I've had friends that are married to Italian 
back then in Nigeria and I saw how Italians treated them like a queen. I've always admired that kind of life and my prayer was a good one, mind you, it was a specific one. So God really answered me. Being in Italy also is one of the things I wish for. There's a lot of narrative and perspective about Italy as well or Europe as per se but you know the Italy thing is all over social media being that the people of color people like me always find it difficult to adapt but the truth is since I arrived here for almost two years going to two years I've never seen like any racism in Italy I've never seen like people staring at me in a bad way to be honest one thing i can tell you is that italians look when i go out with my husband they admire us a lot we see people stare at us we see people smile at us we see people look at us in a good way they admire us and maybe although people may not you know come up and ask but those that have courage, you know, they give us compliments, beautiful couple, you know, you guys look good together. It's a thing to be married to a man, but just like we say in Africa, when you're married to someone, you're married to like the whole community. I didn't just pray for God to give me a good man. I prayed for God to put me in a good family because ladies, I tell you, if you marry a good man, and the family is not good not comfortability there but my in-laws are the best anyone can have in the whole world i have the best in-laws that when you see us you will think that i am from their family and not even i am directly their blood and not even my husband i feel like they treat me much more better than my husband so if you're praying to have a man also pray for God to put you in a good family that they will love you like their own son they will love you like their own blood because being married to family you're married to everybody not just your husband so my in-laws and I have a very very good strong bond relationship and that is one thing I'm grateful to God for them as you see if i'm not comfortable i think like it will show in some way because they say a happy wife is how do they say it a happy marriage is a happy wife so there is a little change at least you can tell from the way i from when i came from nigeria and now i'm doing off of good and best and my in-laws are not just good to me also they are good with our daughter we all born we all talk on the phone the relationship is really really tight some of my husband's friends yes they do ask us who oh, where did you meet um you're beautiful and i thank god that i'm starting to correct some perspectives some impressions about nigeria because most people once they hear nigeria the first thing they tell you is Boko Haram and all that. How is it? But when we go out, especially with my husband's friends, and they're asking, you mean this lady is from Nigeria? How is it? How is Nigeria? You know, that negative impression they have about Nigeria, I even correct it and they will be like, oh, they are really nice um, ladies in Nigeria. So I feel like there are a lot of people with um, another perspective perspective of Africa but you being different and being able to correct this makes a lot of difference being married to an Italian or being married to my husband let me say has been pretty much good and Italians you know they they love life they love to enjoy life and one thing is they always put their ladies first he always puts me first he makes sure that I'm happy if I'm happy, he's happy. And when I'm sad, he's so much uncomfortable. He cannot bear it when I'm sad. So that is one thing I like 
about it and that is one of the things i enjoy more in this marriage i'm not saying that he doesn't have his own bad side of course we are human we don't have it 100 percent figured out we have our ups we have our down we have we are not perfect okay but i have learned to love him in his own imperfection just like he has taken me and love me in my own imperfection and that is why we are like a beautiful couple if i say that myself not because we are perfect but because we learn to love each other in our imperfection you know fall in love with those things that you know you can change and that is what i have to say that is what that has been keeping us strong and going so another thing if you are with any italian man you should expect that you know italians like to talk they have to talk if you are someone that doesn't like to talk ah, no <laughs> you have to talk when you're with italian there's one thing i've been dodging to say but i'm gonna say this based off of how italians treat lady Italian street ladies like princess. If I had not experienced it, I wouldn't pray to marry one. Maybe not all, but at least from what I have seen, what I have experienced, a lot of them treat you like the princess you are. That is a thing I can give it to them. They are sometimes quick to anger, a lot. I'm not gonna say that. They are crazy people. They are really, really crazy people. But if you learn to understand, if you learn to understand them, if you learn to love them the way they are, they are crazy. They are, you know, why? Come see the How do they say this? I'm sorry. They are loud. Okay, that's the word. They are crazy people. They are loud. But all you need to do is to understand them the way they are. Not everyone can understand Italian. That is why I always give an applause to a lot of ladies like me who intend to understand them. Okay, if you understand these people, all you need to do is to understand the way they behave and the way they are. Once you understand them, you're going to enjoy. That is it. Because if you don't have the patience to learn, it takes time. But once you learn them, you're going to laugh. They are really funny people loud yes if you're quiet maybe you might not fit in so well italians are funny you will laugh when an italian love you they're gonna move mountain for you pray for an italian to love you they are crazy yes if you want to show them you're crazy that is what that is where the problem lies when they are arguing they argue a lot Ooh, i'm gonna give it to them they argue a lot and they don't want to feel you that you're winning them in conversation no don't even though you know what you're saying or you want to win act like they are winning okay so the conversation end and in the next minute you see that you will be wondering did we argue or did something happen so just make them, let them be the captain and you're gonna enjoy. This is the secret. I know how to get what I want because you cannot have two captain in the house. When it comes to food, Italians are really generous with food. Not only my in-laws, also when we go out, you know, one of the things you will see is that Italians love food. And same way they love food, they want you to try everything. You guys can tell that I have added a lot of weight. Coming to Italy, I've added a lot of weight. So yeah, pretty much it. I enjoy my stay. I enjoy my family. I'm happy to have the family I have, my Italian family as well. I'm happy to have that. And i'm sure they are happy to have me as well so the timeline of two years has been amazing a lot of things has reduced we don't even argue sometimes i try to remind my husband you know it's been long we argued and he will tell me don't say it don't say it baby don't say it it's better we remain like this is not good i said it's good so yeah we've been living so well and this is all about understanding each other understanding your partner remember no marriage is is perfect 
nobody is perfect as well i am not perfect my husband is not perfect but we have learned to love our imperfection rather than trying to be perfect because if you're trying to be perfect i think that we will miss a lot of things and we will not really be ourselves so rather we fell in love with our imperfection while we try to work things out and that has been helping me just pray for God to give you a good man. Ladies, not just a rich man, okay? I know money is also important, but pray for God to give you a good man. Because when a good man loves you, a perfect man that will love you, other things will fall into place. There are people that are rich. We are not rich, okay? But we are comfortable. There are people that are rich, but they are living in hell but when you have a good man the little he have will make you so comfortable and you will enjoy it enjoy your life and enjoy your marriage and also don't forget to be a good wife if you're a good wife i am a good wife baby am i not a good wife yes of course you are yes he tells me i love you too <laughs> oh yeah every minute they are always confessing their love Sometimes they can bore you with it, but I'm never bored about it. I I love him. I like when he says it as well. So prepare yourself. You will learn to be romantic by force. In all we do in life, we put God first. We hand over to God for God to lead us and you know direct us, direct our path because nobody knows it all. We don't know it all. We are not experienced. We are both babies in the marriage. So we always hand over to God. You searching. Don't forget to put God first. Always put God. Tell God to direct your path. Tell God to direct that man that will love you. And again, when you meet a man from the beginning, state what you want and what you like. Don't be scared to state how you want to be treated from the beginning. Don't be scared to do this. And don't claim what you're not. I am myself, I never claim what I'm not in presence of my husband and he knows this. So don't say a thing from beginning and let that change. It can shake your marriage as well. So the financial state, in as much as I don't like talking this part of my life or sharing this part of my relationship with my husband out here this topic can be a little controversial i'm not trying to generalize it or i'm not trying to say that this is how italians are depending on what you agree and what you accept with your partner we have talked about it with my husband and i'm okay we are okay where we are i will leave you all here i'm bella thank you again for having me i'm grateful and let's hope the next time i will be here maybe we can come with good news okay see you all later i love you all and have my best wishes from me and my husband we wish you all a happy family we wish you all a happy life enjoy your life and bye have a nice day Bye, see you all later. So friends, I think you have heard what Cheks said. I've got something to add on this and then we wrap it up. Yes. <laughs> so the story I talked about when I started this video of a lady complaining that the boyfriend is starving her apparently is that according to what I was told. When they met online, the guy asked her if she likes working out. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like yes she likes working out and the guy added that he likes eating healthy likes exercising you know is into fitness she was like yes yes <laughs> so when they got married this guy expected that it's okay for this lady to go do workouts it's okay for this lady to eat healthy because she said yes she likes eating healthy she is into fitness <laughs> So they started living, you know, that life of fitness, eating healthy, going for workouts. <laughs> and that's when she started complaining that this guy is giving her little food. <laughs> it 
silence I mean when it comes to food. She is starving. <laughs> Every time this guy makes her do exercise, but give her a little food. <laughs> but my sister, you made a mistake from the start. If you are a foodie, <laughs> just be honest. You is watching this video. Let us all learn from her story. Seriously. <laughs> like me, I'm a foodie, guys. And I think most of you know that. <laughs> I've said this lots of times on my Instagram stories that I am a foodie. So there is no way I'm going to hide me being a foodie to a guy I'm chatting to on online dating apps <laughs> or sites. Cause when we get married and you know, he starts seeing me, I'm someone who likes eating, you know, good food. <laughs> we are going to start fighting. So it is good to always be honest when answering a guy's question so that later you don't start being like, oh my God, working out is not my thing. <laughs> <laughs> but you said you like working out. out and another thing that I really want to let you all know it's not that I am judging this lady no I'm not here to judge her it's true that guy apart from you know the healthy eating and fitness might be treating her the bad way because we all know on online dating sites or apps exist good men and bad men every country has good men and bad men so it is possible this sister of ours came across a bad italian guy because they exist because i can't sit here and tell you all italian guys are sweet <laughs> They'll treat you like a princess. <laughs> no. Because <laughs> on online dating sites, you might come across an Italian guy that is a bad one. But what do you need to do? If you are a Bella baby, if you've been watching my videos, is to differentiate. Is this guy really a good guy or a bad guy? Because if you pick a bad guy if you get blinded maybe by his money if you get blinded by his sweet words because italians are so good <laughs> at talking <laughs> you get blinded by all that it takes your breath away <laughs> later you find yourself in trouble don't start blaming all italian guys no because on online dating sites or here in Italy exist good, good Italian men. <laughs> exist black African women who found love on online dating sites and they are married to good Italian men, yes. And when we talk of examples, Chicks is a very good example. Yes, like she explained in the video, it's not that her marriage is perfect, perfect. <laughs> there must be some misunderstandings here and there, nothing serious because we are human beings. No one is perfect, but Chicks is living her happily ever after. And I pray to God to keep protecting her marriage so that she keeps on living her happily ever after. Be blessed, girl. I wish you all the best. Guys, let us wish our beautiful chicks or let us wish the chicks layers all the best in their marriage life. So the point here, guys, is search for a quality guy while you are on online dating apps, sites, searching. I have another client, you know, she has been coming to me to ask for an advice. So one time came to me and was super worried. <laughs> Told me, Bella, I did not go to the university and currently I just lost my job. But I'm on online dating sites, apps, searching for love. So I was on TikTok. I came across a video whereby there is a lady who was saying for you to enjoy your marriage life, for a guy to treat you good, 
you must have a degree and above you must have a good job because if you don't have a good job you don't have a degree you'll end up being mistreated in your marriage and she asked herself was like you know what i don't have a degree right now i just lost my job which means if i find a guy he wants to marry me staying with him i will be jobless for some time and another thing about this lady is one of the particular ladies who says that for me if i find a guy online we are to get married and have kids i don't want to work full time because i need to have time to take care of my kids and my husband my family in general so i am going to be earning a little but i'll be happy with that so this lady saying that i'll be treated bad in marriage because i don't earn much i don't have a degree it really scares the hell out of me bella is it true <laughs> and if you're here watching this and you have that question in mind i'm here to respond to it of course i responded to my client and yeah so it was solved but you who is here and maybe you are in her situation you don't have a degree and due to maybe the level of your education you've got just a normal job so guys my opinion on this according to my own experience when it comes to love true love your level of education your job where you come from your past love relationship experience maybe you are a single mother of five or of one it does not matter at all important you find that right guy that guy that will understand you you as whole as a woman <laughs> yeah because if you find that guy who will truly understand you he will never judge you because you don't have a degree he will never judge you because of your past love relationship experience that led you to be a single mother of five he will never ever judge you for that he will never judge you because you don't bring much money to the family he will never judge where you come from because what interests him the more is the inner you you as a person and that's the right guy that is searching for true love so if you marry a guy like that you're going to live your happily ever after but if you go for a wrong guy of course you'll be judged because you don't have a degree of course you'll be judged you don't bring enough money to the table because you took a guy who goes for 50 50 kind of a relationship <laughs> you would be judged of where you come from because maybe you saw in his profile <laughs> when you started chatting talking about if you're from ghana don't contact me if you're from nigeria don't contact me and you ignored that you're like i'm from kenya <laughs> i'm from uganda i'm from tanzania <laughs> so i have a chance with this guy he will later on start judging you just because you're from africa as if it's a crime so let us not ignore the red flags and later on start complaining things went bad let so dear friends let me hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you those who haven't checked out check slayer's channel please she is a content creator i remind you again her youtube channel name goes by check slayer i will write it here so that you can see it and check out her channel give her the support those who have been supporting her thank you so much guys who are from you know my channel be blessed thank you so much for watching this video if you have liked it share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something give this video a thumbs up if you have liked it comment below what you think about this video i would like to know watch my other videos too they are super super good you're going to learn a lot if you haven't subscribed please please what are you waiting for join the family and thank you for subscribing i love you so much guys let us meet in my next video you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.